Hello everybody, my name is Mateo Salvador. Welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO and welcome to season number two. Let's get right, uh, what was I going to say? Sorry, I just had a brain fart right there. Let's get started. Today, we're uh, well actually for this season, we're going to be building a very tiny airport. Not like Heathrow big, but more like, um, let's see, uh, Edinburgh big. Maybe. Not, maybe just a little bit bigger than Ed Edinburgh Airport. I think Edinburgh Airport's like somewhere up here. Yeah. Uh, if you've ever been to that airport, just a little bit bigger than that one. I'm planning that we're going to build this one in Bristol. Why, let's build it. Actually, I have a plan for the airport. Um, Canterbury? How about, how about we build it here? Canterbury. Canterbury. Perfect. Anyways, before we uh, get any more into the video i just got back from a landscaping job so that's a lot of fun and then i also dropped my phone on some really hard ass pavement yay that's a lot of fun the screen's cracked all over and everything it's like literally it's it's insane the fact that the phone's still working with how hard it hit the pavement but yeah so if if i am able to take a picture of it with my webcam um i will put it in the video while we're waiting for the the game to load but without further ado let's get right into it Alrighty, so Canterbury International Airport. We will name it CIA. That sounds kind of cool, actually. CIA. We will... Mm, let's see, what are we going to do? We should build a Tropican Airport one day. Maybe for Season 3, that's what I'll do. Let's make that our logo. We are going to run at two grand, and let's get started. Alrighty, so we are loaded in. And what we're going to do is we're going to buy this top corner here. Oh, oh, never mind. You know, for some reason, I thought this was unlocked already. Anyways, oh, dang, phone's raining. F raining. Yeah, because the phone's raining. Um, we're going to go for a little bit of a different approach this time. Oh, you know what? Alrighty, so after restarting the recording, because I ended up realizing that I really hated the design I was going for, uh, we are back now. Um, okay, so I'm going to start my plan. I was thinking of doing runways that were going to go up and down like this, but I decided I was going to do runways that are going left and right, and then we may have a third runway that's going up and down. I don't know. We'll have to see what we're going to do. But that's my plan for right now because I realized I really didn't like the idea of what I was going for. What I, what I was originally going to do, I was just realized I did not like it. Sorry, I hope that makes sense. Um, okay, so before we get any farther into what we are doing, let's get ourselves a company. Ooh. That's different. That one had 70 last time. Or maybe it was this one. One of these ones had 70. 56. Brickley had 70 last time. 60. Oh, 74. Perfect. Sign it. It's done. You're with us. Let's call y'all in. And deploy y'all. All right, so... The way we're going to start this um, is we are going to build a road. Let's do the black asphalt because I like that one better. We'll build a road all the way down here. Go all the way this way for right now. Get everybody loaded in. I think we're going to demolish this road later because my plan is we're probably going to end the terminal somewhere around like over here in this way. It's going to be L-shaped. And I'm hoping that I can get a runway, at least one or two runways in. We may have to purchase this area up here. I'm not 100% sure yet. But they'll build this up soon enough. I want to have some remote stands. And I learned how to use the remote stands. Originally, they weren't working. People were stuck on the shuttle bus stops. And they were just standing there without any way to go. The thing you need to do is you need to have the shuttle bus stops connected with a secured area if you if they are not connected from that the bus stops to the terminals without a secure area they will not move because it's it's dangerous you know there could be people with bombs and stuff like that in that little tiny road area um that's my theory this is why we can't have nice things i tell you what because i'm looking down here because i got a message on my telephone and uh screen's all cracked and everything that's why i can't have nice things i tell you first somebody breaks into a locker and breaks my trumpet and then i drop my phone on hard concrete or asphalt or whatever whatever this thing i was standing on was i can't remember 
Well, I mean, I can kind of remember. Could have. It could have. It was actually probably concrete. Yeah, I think it was concrete. What the heck is that? Is that a black tree? Wait, what? <laughs> Never seen this before. Or is that rock? I don't know. Alrighty, so they're about halfway done with the road here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to leave this whole area free. Let us... Um, because I feel like it'd be more beneficial for us. Uh, we will put... Maybe I should give it there for now. You know what? I'll just keep it right there for now. We can serve that as maybe like an outline point. So what we're going to do is we'll put bus stops. We'll put a few train stations and everything here. So I think what we're going to do... Let's build these right now. We... Well, actually... No, I can't do that. Um, oh, man. I should have probably built that road a little farther up. Because then I could have done that. Can I put train stations on the other side? Oh, I can. Oh, that might be nice to put some train stations on the other side and stuff like that. I think that's what we'll do. All right. So we're going to have a fencing here. Let's build the... Let's just build the terminal building so we know exactly how much space we're going to work with. I think that'll be good because that'll leave some space for that. Or maybe we should go four. How much space does that leave above us? If we do like a six... Six, we can build that to about right here, I'd imagine. I, I, I want to leave enough space that we can fit remote stands in. Because they're new and I, I, I really like using the remote stands. I actually think they're pretty cool. Um, so if we were to do that, we could probably build a taxiway in the middle. Actually, we could, probably could, if we wanted to, expand this just a tad bit more. And then we'll have it going up. We'll have a one runway up there for right now. Uh, we also got to make sure that we include this part of the airport. You know, the, the terminal part. Because obviously this is like the lobby and everything. We don't need much in the lobby. Uh, what matters is what's in the top part. And I think that right there could probably do to about probably um, I'm, I'm going to say about right here. Just right there for right now. And to save us some money because obviously why would we build walls that we never need to build? Actually, we do need that wall right there. We do need this wall. There are actually a few walls we don't need, but we won't know what we do and don't need until we get to that side of the bridge. So let's let's just build everything for now, uh, along with a few entrances. Because I have the idea in my head. I drew out a very bad drawing of what I wanted. But I, I have the idea in my head. I tried to build a big version of this, but it was pretty lame, and I just didn't like it. It, 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 it was way larger than this. It was actually this same design. But instead of it going just this tiny, it was it stretched from here all the way to here, all the way up here. So basically, it took up literally, like, two whole sides of the map. And I ended up realizing I just didn't like it. I, I thought it looked kind of dull. It was very unorganized, let's put it that way. So what we'll have, uh, yeah, we'll have, um, actually, you know what I could probably do? No, I won't have it right here. We'll probably put, like, a cargo bay right here, so it's like it's kind of like you can get everywhere, you know? What would be cool is if you could put tunnels. I can't wait until they add tunnels and everything. You know, it would be great. Man, I tell you, they just keep stacking the boxes. Like, imagine how high these boxes must be. It must be it's just like the movies. You know, the animated cartoon movies where... Um, I hope the microphone's not too loud. I'm sorry. I'm always scared that the microphone's too low. Uh, you know, the little um, cartoons uh, sometimes where they'll have, like, the storage rooms and the boxes are, you know, stacked 100 boxes high, you know? All right, so they're almost done with that. And, ah, okay, so what we'll do, I know I need to find a place that we'll put the remote stands. Maybe what we'll do is we'll have that on the end here. So actually, let's demolish this, because I think maybe we'll just have this on the end here. Maybe that's what we'll do. Um, oh, it's raining outside. It's actually been raining outside for some time. We'll have that on the outside, so we'll, we'll put this as like a like a place for the remote stands. They can take you all the way over here. We'll probably have some more remote stands up in this area here, but I feel good about this. I think that this is going to look pretty cool when it's done. Um, I know that I'm probably going to have at least 10 episodes minimum. I, I'm now looking at it, maybe not, maybe like at least 8 episodes minimum. Minimum of 8 episodes. Unfortunately, I could not get to the final episode of... What was it? Well, what airport were we building? Um, St. Thomas Connect, I think, is what we called it. And 
the problem with it was that the game updated, and unfortunately, because of the modding and everything, I could not use old saves. So that's why I'm obviously not playing that one, because I, I it, it broke, kind of. It broke old saves, so that that's why I'm not not playing with it. Look at this. Like, what's the what? Like, would you, is this how they really would build a building? Just build the random areas? Like, wouldn't you start with, like, one corner, then move on to the next? I mean, I'm not complaining. Not trying to sound like I'm complaining. Maybe it sounds like I'm complaining. I'm not... I don't want to complain, okay? I don't like complaining. Um... I don't know. There are a bunch of new vehicles, too. Um... Let's see if... Not, we don't need to go over vehicles. We need to go up to here. No, yes. It, no, it's not here. It's this one. I absolutely love some of the new vehicles they added. What is this? Incident? There's incidents all over the place. Where? What am I looking for? Contracts. Procurements. Um, these vehicles. The belt loaders. I absolutely love the belt loaders. Um, I love it. I love the belt loaders. I think that they're probably one of the coolest things that have came to this game yet. Uh, sorry, I'm working with my microphone audio here because I have Open Broadcaster open up on the side there, and I'm I'm afraid that I'm talking too quietly. I'm sorry if I'm screaming. I shouldn't be because I didn't change the audio too much, so I, I do apologize. This is the first time I'm recording since the first the uh, yeah the first episode. No, actually, it's not. That's a lie. This is the first video I'm going to release since the first episode of Farming Simulator Low, uh, Oakfield Farm came out. I just I haven't been motivated, you know. Dog, my dog downstairs is barking. I don't know what he's barking. He's probably barking because the rain. He always barks whenever it rains. Or maybe there's someone here. Who knows? I'm not too concerned about that though. Well, it's got peat farmers working in the field and everything. The, I mean, they may be parking something, and he's like, "Hey, there's a guy in the hay field right next to our house." Yay. Anyways, <laughs> um, let's build something. So obviously they're going to keep working on this. Uh, we could do what I always do where I'm just like, hey, let's look at what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like 20 minutes later and we haven't done anything productive. <laughs> if any of you have been back from St. Thomas, uh, you guys know how that goes. Um, we did that a lot. We did do that a lot. What did someone request from this? Did someone request roundabouts? couldn't remember if it was this game that somebody had requested roundabouts or another one. I can't remember. Um, I don't know. Someone was talking about roundabouts. I don't remember which game. I don't remember what game I was looking at that they were talking about somebody wanted roundabouts. I can't remember. Gosh, if I find it, I will let you know. Um, oh yes. Okay, so we're going to do this. I don't know if they're actually going to use this, but it could be cool to just put like a little train station or something in the middle here. Kind of like how they do it in Grand Theft Auto. Or, and then we could also put, like, another train station. This will be, like, the world's longest train station. It'll be, like, that one train station in Chicago. It's, like, five train stations. In, it's it's a part of the metro system. I think it's on the blue line. Uh, no, it's, like, maybe on the red line. I don't remember. <laughs> um, and it's five stations, and they're all connected on one massive platform. I, I think it's kind of cool, actually, how they, how they built that all together. I ended up replicating that in Cities in Motion 2, because Cities in Motion 2 allows me to do that. So I ended up re 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 replicating that train station uh, in uh, Cities in Motion. Did I say City Skyline? Cities in Motion 2. Gosh, I'm an idiot, I tell you what. Some of you guys are probably like, yeah, you are. Whoop. All the way down here. All the way down here, please. Oh, that lag. I'm getting 50 frames per second. You guys can see my frames in the top right-hand corner up here. This number, this uh, 60 and 50, that's my frames. If any of you are ever interested on what I get on this game. All right, so we can build car stops just up here. The buses can go down farther. Because I'm planning that we'll probably have, like, the baggage bay down here. And then, like, all the other things down here. But we'll obviously have ways that, you know, people can get everywhere. Oh, my nose is itching. <laughs> my nose. I actually... I probably got some grass in my nose and stuff like that from mowing. And the landscaping job. 
where I realized, where, where we all learned that Mateo Salvador can't have nice things. Because he just ends up messing everything up. I, I swear, like, I've broken, I've, I've, I've just, this past month has been so bad because, like, what did I, well, what else did I break? I can't remember. It was the trumpet. The trumpet's the big one that I, that I didn't break. I didn't break that one, actually. It was somebody else who broke into the locker who broke it. Who, yeah, who smashed it against something. Sucks. But I ended up actually getting a replacement trumpet for now. Which is good. So if any of you are interested in what happened to the trumpet, I got a replacement one. It's actually sitting in my room right now. I was going to go practice, but unfortunately, I cannot find my mute. I can't find my trumpet mute because I have someone sleeping downstairs. And obviously, if you've ever played the trumpet, you know that how loud they can get. Obviously, I don't want to wake them up because that would just be rude. I wouldn't want to be woken up, you know, sleeping and all of a sudden <laughs> got a loud trumpet, you know. Alrighty, uh, I was thinking about that. Maybe we should uh, remove some of the car stops right here. We'll remove uh, like three, like a three, so that we can have a like a crossroads kind of thing. That works. Okay. Oh, I saw this funny picture on Instagram. I was looking around. I follow a few music pages, and uh, there was it was it was this picture, and uh, this guy asks, "What's the time? What time is it?" And he, the the other guy he he replies, "I don't know. Hand me that trombone over there, and uh, I'll let you know." And so then he blasts into the trombone, and apparently they were in an apartment, and then it said neighbor. Uh, who's playing that trombone early in the morning? I don't know. It was kind of funny. The way I deliver it probably made it like the most boringest joke you've ever heard. If I find it again, I will put it in... I will put it. Here, how about this? If I find it, I'll put it right here. There we go. I don't know if I found it or not, or if I'll even remember by the time I upload this, which will probably be in like the next 10 years, because knowing me and my video uploading schedule, but, um, yay. Let's do this. Um, can I place said, no, I can't. Okay. That's just wonderful. Just absolutely beautiful. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to put here. Uh, how could car? No, I can't. We could no. Okay. You know what? Have, you know what? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. This, is, this is why it takes 10 years for Mateo to upload his videos because he can't decide if he really wants to edit them or not, and then he gets lazy and doesn't upload them. That has nothing to do with what I was just contemplating, but, you know, whatever. People always say that I overthink things. And if you're watching this video... That's, yeah, I overthink things. Well, I mean, I'm talking, I mean, when I say watching the video, if you're one of the people who say that. Yes, I do overthink things. And it, it, it's bit me in the butt a few times because I actually got this really bad grade on an assignment because I overthought it. Let's put it this way. It was the lowest grade I got all quarter. It was a 5 out of 15 because I overthought it. I didn't believe what it was telling me. It just, the story was so random. It said so many random things. I did not believe it. It just didn't seem credible to me, you know? Then again, maybe to you it did, but, you know. <laughs> it, it, it didn't, it, I just, I, I didn't envision, I, you see, listen, I, okay. I thought that she was describing her husband as a werewolf because he was abusing her. He just came back from abusing her, his child. So I thought, oh, he must be, or she must be uh, um, describing him as a werewolf because he's scary and abusing her. Like, being physically abusive and stuff like that. Because what do I think of when I think of a werewolf? I think of blood. I think of pain, you know? So that's why I didn't believe it. You know? And, I mean, it, it just, it, it seemed too random. Random, you know? You know? There. 
Now you guys all know about my life of why I fail. <laughs> no, actually, this is actually probably the best uh, year so far as far as grades went. The honors class that I'm in. Honors history class. It's great. There's a lot of writing and stuff like that. Alrighty. There we go. Our basic layout of the airport as people are starting to build everything. And we're getting 20 frames per second. That's how much things are happening here. Look at this crap. Oh my god. Lights out. Lights out, everybody. Ooh. Oh, I know why. It's because, yeah. I wish you could keep the light on all the time. That would be great if you could turn on the light. Is there any way to turn on the light even when you're not on this thing? Like, you know how great that would be just to have the light without, you know? I mean, I guess it's fine, but it would be nice having the light. Because look at how much more you can see. I've only been recording for about 15 minutes. It feels so much longer than that. Because usually it's like, I record a farming simulator video and it feels like 10 minutes, but I already recorded like 30 minutes. You know? It's crazy how fast, uh, how slow time sometimes goes. And it's not that I'm not having fun. I'm having fun because I feel like I'm doing very well this episode. I, I'm very cheerful for some reason. Not not all tired and like, oh, I want to die. <laughs> We all feel like that sometimes, you know, where we're just like, if I could just die right now, I would, you know. You're that tired. You just don't want to live anymore. <laughs> Alrighty. I don't know what we're going to do for this side. We're definitely going to add stands. Now, whether or not it'll be tiny airport, uh, not tiny airports, but like tiny aircrafts is to be determined. I did get mods. I don't know why that's not working. Okay. Um, uh, we can't see it yet. I have modded airlines in. And... My modded airlines, uh, there's European airliners, there's American airliners, there's a 757. Unfortunately, the United 757, for some reason, is doing some really finicky things, so I don't think I'll be using United Airlines very much. If I do, we definitely won't fly the 757 because it just, it, it's, for some reason, the textures are messed up. Like, the aircraft literally looks like an MD-11 almost. That, that's, it, and I know it's not an MD-11. It, it actually looks like... A Russian aircraft. I don't know the name of the Russian aircraft. Like, I see the name right there. I think it's, like, something Ishuka, Ishukia. Um, it, you know what? I'll find a picture of it, and I'll, I'll, I'll put it right here. But, yeah, that, that's what it looks like. And you can tell, like, it's supposed to look like a 757, but it's not. And I don't know why it looks like that. All my mods I get from the Steam Workshop, so if any of you are interested in getting my mods, you can always go to the Steam Workshop. Um, I'll also maybe put a link down in the description to them if I can find them or, you know, if I realize, hey, maybe I can help people out and not just leave people hanging. Let's put a train... Um, I was going to say let's put a train state. Well, we could. Let's put a train station. A lot of train stations. Big train station. This will be like Chicago O'Hare. Can we build it? Alrighty, so before we end the episode, I actually want to know if I can add plant life. By plant life, I mean trees. It would be great to be able to just put like a tree here, uh, but it's not valid because we have whatchamacalls here. Let's make this area look kind of nice, you know? Add the vegetation for the bushy people. Trees, trees. Um, Because who doesn't like good trees, right? I always like trees. Before we end the episode, we're going to end the episode very soon because I'm gonna, I feel like I'm going to become very robotic and that's the last thing I want to become. Especially when I feel so good about this episode. Especially when I feel so good about this episode, you know? Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, I still don't want to do that. There we go. We can build trees later, but, you know, we'll, we'll just build some basic trees for right now. Make this area look kind of nice, you know? Because what's better than having some vegetation in your life? Alrighty, but that's going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. It's the first episode. Next episode, what I plan to do, we're going to have the terminal completed. I'm going to let them work and finish up. And then we will, um, we're going to build, we're going to build the runway. We're going to build some other out, outdoor things. We're going to get all this area situated. We're going to refine this area, you know, get 
baggage points and everything like that. And then I think maybe in the third episode, we will start working with the interior stuff. We'll start getting the taxiways and everybody else set up. We'll start getting the baggage claim areas and all that good stuff set up. Uh, I, I feel pretty good about this. I think we're going to do very, very well. Probably even better than um, St. Thomas um, because there's a lot of cool things. Um, I'm glad the developers are so into this game, uh, you know, with creating it and everything. Not like, um, well, Sim Airport's a pretty good game, actually. I'm not going to say anything about Sim Airport. Sim Airport's a good game. I was thinking more of, like, uh, uh, Enforcer, maybe. I won't say Police Crime, um, not that one. What, what other game? I don't know. I'm not going to start ratifying people out because that's not cool. But uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Peace.